I'm the best fighter in the world. I mean, not just on the Olympic team. I mean, that's with everybody, no matter what fighter. Those are the words of 20-year-old Floyd Mayweather, just one year removed from an Olympic bronze medal, a veteran of a whole 10 professional fights, just coming off a rousing second-round knockout over 18-3, Louis Leha. It's so easy. I mean, this sport is not hard. I mean, you just got to stay focused. And, you know, you got you to go out there and do what you got to do, and that's, that's to win. And I feel I'm winning because, you know, because of my skills and my will, and my determination, and I can punch with any hand. This is after just 10 pro fights. I'm on a level with the world champion, put it right there, right now. I mean, you can put me there with a Janeiro Hernandez, um, the guy that just fought, the IBF champ, Arturo Gatti. I'll beat Arturo Gatti, and I also will beat Janelle Hernandez, for sure. I will be world champion in 1998. 20 years old, just 10 pro fights under the belt. I don't just have talent inside the ring. I have talent outside the ring. I have charisma. I have character. And um, people like me. And um, I'm, just, I'm just a showman. Floyd also enjoys running the show. Here setting up the Tuesday night fight stare down before the fight with his opponent, Felipe Garcia. Directing Felipe where to stand, how to turn to the camera, the proper time to turn. Yes, young Floyd just does it all. Everybody's a producer. <laughs> Well, Felipe Garcia took it in stride, almost the uh, smug look on his face as a very animated character, uh, cocky, not in the arrogant type of a way, but very confident, very playful, very sure of himself as Floyd Mayweather, but he's stepping in against a guy who has loads and loads of experience, and you see the smile on the face of Floyd Mayweather. Does he know what he's getting into with uh, Felipe Garcia? Floyd Mayweather can do it all. He has, uh, in the ring, as you, as you heard, he has charisma. He uh, has a nice jab. He has good right hand, good hook, punch with either hand. He's got great balance. But the one thing that he lacks is the experience, and that's what he's hoping in a fight of this nature. Uh, he wants to kind of test the waters to see what, what Felipe's going to put pressure on him all night to see how he, he reacts to that pressure. Well, he has a lot of experience in the ring. Two-time world champion Roger Mayweather, also former contender Jeff May uh, Mayweather. His uncles are in the corner. Here is the Castro tail of the tape. He has a few pounds over Garcia. He has five inches in height and nearly five inches in reach. So uh, physically, he is the dominant uh, figure in the ring, giving up uh, 19 years. Uh, and uh, Mayweather happy to do that. We're in Idaho, and these are the rules. Standing eight count is not in effect. Three knockdown rule is not in effect. You cannot be saved by the bell scoring on the 10 point must system. And uh, the champ wanted us to make sure to tell you no throwing potatoes into the ring during the fight. All right, we're ready for yeah. the introduction. So let's go to the man in the black tuxedo wearing the maroon accessories, Mark Gore. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's bouts are under the auspices of the Idaho State Athletic Commission. The commissioner is John Vestal, and the chief deputy commissioner is Larry Bettis. Top Rank Incorporated, in association with Diamond Sports and Entertainment and Budweiser, this Bud's for you, presents eight rounds, junior lightweights. Your referee for this event, the pride of Boise, Idaho, Jerry Armstrong. <laughs> Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the gold trunks, weighing in at 130 pounds. His professional record reads 19 victories, 17 defeats, one draw, and 10 wins coming by way of knockout. El Hijo de la República de México and boxing out of the Poor Boys Boxing Club in Denver, Colorado. Here is ferocious Felipe Garcia. Garcia. His opponent, 
in the blue corner, wearing the purple trunks, white trim. He weighs in at 133 and a half pounds. He is undefeated in 10 professional bouts with eight wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and now makes his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, the 1996 U.S. Olympic bronze medalist. Here is Pretty Boy Floyd. Okay, Floyd and Felipe, you got your instructions in the dressing room. Any questions on the instructions? No problem. Okay. I ask one thing, that you obey my commands at all times. When I say break, keep your hands up, stop boxing, take one step back, okay? Okay, guys, touch gloves now. Okay, good luck. Floyd Mayweather with Uncle Roger helping him out. Uncle Jeff, who spars with Floyd in the background. Mayweather 10-0 with eight knockouts. He has scored 16 knockdowns in his fight. He has fought 25 rounds and has won 24 of them so far. You are seeing all the young Olympians throughout the last few weeks on Tuesday night fights. You're seeing David Reed and Terrence Cawthon, Larry Claybay, Roshai Wells, Antonio Tarver, Fernando Vargas. And uh, they are all off to terrific starts as pros. All undefeated at this point, and Mayweather has won his first 10 in a hurry. Debuted last October after winning the bronze medal, losing in the semifinals to the Bulgarian fighter, who's a two-time world champion, and 10 years the senior of Mayweather, in a very controversial 10-9 scoring decision. But uh, Mayweather has put that behind him, as have uh, most of the Olympians who uh, did not agree to the, with the Olympic scoring system. And now Floyd going up against Felipe Garcia, who may be old, but he's slow, Sean. But uh, he's also crafty and a good counterpuncher, always competitive, and with his experience, it uh, could be difficult for a young prospect. Felipe, after having lost 10 of 12, comes in here off his best win. In August, won a 10-round decision over former world title challenger Miguel Arizal in Arizal's hometown. He also owns a win over Mauro D Diaz, who was then world-ranked at 25-0. So Felipe Garcia, who just kind of gets under your skin in the ring, and uh, at 39 cells, it says he still loves the sport, loves to be in there. His record is 19, 17, and 1 with Team KOs. He says, you know, I've been a road warrior, a fight out of Denver, and I normally have to go out of town to get fights. They don't have a lot of boxing matches in Denver. He says, I've been robbed many times, and he says my record really should be about 54 and 8. Felipe Garcia. And the crowd now uh, watching this fight intently as you see Floyd Mayweather, you will see Kenny Keene in the main event, and that's what Boise is here for. Kenny actually right outside of Boise, out of Emmett, Idaho, but they have certainly embraced him here in the big city. And right now he is in the locker room uh, getting prepared and ready to enter the ring in the main event. Originally to fight James Tony, which would have brought this house down, but Tony fractured his wrist in uh, sparring and Sal Montana, another uh, banger, steps in and uh, should be a very interesting competitive fight that these fans will enjoy regardless. Very competitive. Either fighter can win that fight, but a tough one to pick. Well, Felipe Garcia blasting through the first round, and we will pause for this word from your local cable systems. Boise, Idaho, the home of Cleveland Quarter, who opened the show tonight with a sensational-looking knockout. And Kenny Keene coming up. This is round number two. 20-year-old Floyd Mayweather, who has seven knockouts of his eight in the first couple of rounds. And he is... Uh, 
come into this fight understanding that the key to him is always the jab. He feels it's his offense and his defense, and he's trying to get it going against a very slippery Felipe Garcia, a former kickboxing champion, who comes in with all these angles. He gets low. He's only 5'2 anyway. So a very hard target, a very awkward fighter to go against, very confusing to his opponents. So trying to figure things out in the corner of Floyd Mayweather is Uncle Roger, the former junior lightweight champion, former junior welterweight champion. Let's go to the champs. Roger Floyd is having a little bit of trouble connecting. How difficult is a fighter like Felipe well, Garcia? Well, he's an experienced fighter, but the case while, while Floyd uh, having more difficult, he got to touch the guy. Yeah. He trying he trying to keep much to do from a distance, and the guy is very short. And so if you got to do with a guy like that, you got to start from the body and work your way up. It's different when you fight a tall guy, you try to count with the right hand. But this time, you get this guy a lead right hand. So he looking, he's not looking to take uh, offense. He's looking to take defense. As you know, it's important, Roger, to win this fight, but also it's important of how you win this fight. Right. Can, can a fighter like Felipe Garcia make Floyd look bad? Well, yeah, experience, but I think that Floyd, going in the end, the result going to be like what I just told you. The result, the result, the result in the end, Floyd got to take his time, and he's going to get him out of there, and he's going to look good doing it once, once he get him him up. But he got to trap him first. Yeah. Throw the right hand to the body. Now, he said how diligently you and he worked in the gym on the jab. How important is that in a fight of this nature? Well, the guys, this guy is tough, basically. This guy is a tough fighter, uh, a doable. And, and the Floyd got to do is take his time, take his time, and start hitting that body, and uh, lead right hand. I, a lot of lead right hand, yeah. we'll, we'll catch the guard back. Well, that's what you're going to tell them at the end of this round, right? I'll tell them every time, a lot of lead right hands to the body and back to the head. Okay, we're going to be looking for those right hands in the next round. Yeah, I think, I think it's... That, that's going to be the one to get them out of there. When I'm telling you that right now, if you throw the right hands to the body and back to the top, that's going to be the one to get them out of there. And you're, you're going to try to get him out of there. Okay, okay, Raj. They know what they want to do over here. And they, and they have six more rounds to do it. Starting the wrapping process, Kenny Keene moving closer to making his entrance into this arena for the first time. The boxing shows here at the Bank of America Center. It just opened a month ago, and uh, Kenny Keene helping to uh, put a big crowd here as uh, the center opens its doors for the first time to boxing, which will be a regular feature. Yeah, they, they, they have really grown to where they really love boxing here. In Boise, they appreciate us being here. Great fans here. And they like the sport of boxing. As does Floyd Mayweather and Felipe Garcia. Now, Garcia has been stopped only once over the course of the last 10 years. He's a, he'll be a hard guy for Mayweather to take out, and it certainly will be a feather in the cap of the young Mayweather if he can do so. But in the meantime, he, you know, you see his patience in there. A lot of the young fighters want to get in and take their opponent out right away. But Mayweather just loves being in the ring. He wouldn't mind if he's in there for eight rounds. It's good work for him against a veteran. See what he could do against a guy who brings in some awkwardness that Mayweather has to contend with. And something that Floyd has learned in growing up in his family is Patience is a great virtue to have if you're going to be a world-class fighter. He has plenty of time, not trying to rush the knockout. Yes, he wants a knockout. And in every fight that you have, there will be at least one opportunity to knock out your opponent. Crafty veteran Felipe Garcia knows the moves. He knows how to roll with the punches. He knows how to make you look bad. He knows how to counter. He has that, knows how to do just enough to get by in these fights to keep from being knocked out. There was a good right hand from Garcia, his best of this fight. Makes it very difficult on his opponents. He has gone, he has gone the distance with Eddie Crawford, who was 16 and 0, Jose Rincones, who was 16 and 1, Tony Green from Philly, who was 21 and 3, Cedric Mingo, 22 and 5. Remember Clarence Adams going uh, the distance. Felipe Garcia with all these fighters. The only guy who was able to get him and stop him was Rudy Zavala. Also very crafty oh, yeah. and tough. That's, that's uh, caught him. Yeah, that's the right time. He's done that. Rudy Zavala's done that to many people. Garcia said tonight, I'm going to try to capitalize on the mistakes of Mayweather. 
He had not seen Mayweather coming into this fight, said, I don't like to see my opponents. I want to go in there without knowing them, get a preconceived fight plan that I can't get out of. He wants to be able to adapt. He was very loose before the fight. There's a good jab from him. And actually, he's been able to uh, catch Mayweather a couple of times already in these three rounds. And that's probably yeah. the first time in 11 fights that Mayweather has actually been touched or hit. Floyd Mayweather comes out for round number four. The instructions from Uncle Roger is to get the jab going. Floyd Mayweather Sr. had a record of 28 and 6, well away contender. Roger Mayweather, two-time world champion. Jeff Mayweather, Uncle Jeff, former fringe contender. Boxing family, Floyd said his father took him to the gym in a stroller. The little kid used to get in the gym and the guys there would get down on their knees and spar a little with Floyd. So he has grown up in the ring and loves being there, loves to be the center of attention. And now it is his time coming out of the U.S. Olympic team, winning the bronze medal in Atlanta. Right now trying to figure out Felipe Garcia. Going to the body is Mayweather. Mayweather with the, so many tools, tremendously skilled, but you just saw there, tendency to drop the hands, showboat a little bit. He said, grew up, and guys he loves to watch outside of his dad and his uncles. Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, tapes of Sugar Ray Robinson. So, so that's city patterns his style. Well, Roger Mayweather's not the only former champ working a corner here tonight. Cornelius Boza Edwards is in the opposite corner, working with Felipe Garcia and now with the champ. So, Cornelius, is this the kind of fight you expected? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, um, Floyd has got quick hands, quick reflexes. Of course, he's got the youth behind him. Yeah, but you see more pressure from Felipe this round. Why? Well, I'm seeing more well, because uh, he. Floyd is beginning to, you know, gain some respect though, from Felipe's point of view. He's realized that he's not, you know, going to just jump in there and gut him out there like he's done with the other fighters. But, but, come on, Cornelius. Floyd's very good. How do you beat this guy? Very good. Um, how do you beat him? Um, hopefully you get a lucky shot, you know, cause him off balance. I mean, like, right there, he missed him. Um, but uh, Felipe's did not count because of the reflex. Do you think his skills, Floyd's skills, will decay as this fight continues? Well, that's difficult to say. Uh, right now, it's in the beginning of the early rounds. I mean, you know, it's a test. We'll see what he's got. But so far, I think I've seen it. We've seen everything what Floyd has got. Uh, he's a kid who's grown with the, uh, the industry right now. What are you going to tell him at the end of this round, Bozo? Oh, to go downstairs and then uh, let Floyd open up at the top, and then maybe uh, Philip will come over the top. And we'll be looking for that the next round. All right, Al. So Bozo Edwards has to go to work, as he does the Roger pressure. Mayweather. Let's listen in. He talks to his keep nephew. Keep the same on it. And keep moving your hand. Keep your distance. Same pressure on him, keep moving this. Keep touching him to the body. Whenever you touch him to the body, and leave right hand, that's what he's sucking for. Felipe, let's go. Remember who you are. You listen to what Bosa said, now let's execute. We can't give any more rounds late. Remember who you are, all right? All right. Right hand to the body. I want right hand to the body. Yeah, we got it. Right hand up top. 20-year-old Floyd Mayweather, who made his pro debut last October. And uh, he knows he is in there with a... Uh, a hardened professional and Felipe Garcia, who, as you can see him in the corner, Sean, looks like he knows he's just getting into this fight. He's, oh, yeah. he's warmed up. He's given away four rounds, but he's warmed up, as Bose Edwards said, and as Felipe Garcia said, that he 
He just hopes that he could get Mayweather to make a mistake and then capitalize on the counter. But keep in mind, we talked about Felipe Garcia, who's been stopped only once in 10 years on the other side. He's only knocked one fighter out over the course of the last seven years of his career. So yeah, not really a power hitter. However, he is an iron horse. Felipe Garcia will stay in there. And the fight plan in this match, you know, you, you heard Cornelius Rose Edwards. He doesn't know what to expect from Mayweather as this fight continues on. Uh, and what you want to find out from young fighters who are coming into the pro ranks is what happens to them after that third round. You know, all the amateur fights are three rounds. That's all the time that they need to fight. What you want to see is what happens to them in, in, in you know, the long haul. It is like a quarter horse, a short distance runner facing a, a long distance runner in the pro ranks for long distance runners. Fifth round action. This is the fourth time, though, in 11 fights that Mayweather has been past the fourth round. In the main event, it is a 12-round title fight. Kenny Keene, the hero from this part, against Saul Montana. Montana travels to Idaho to face Keene of, of Boise, and uh, this crowd will be raucous. They're awaiting Kenny Keene. Now, Floyd Mayweather looking to open it up. Those Edwards says uh, to Felipe Garcia, well, he's, he's shown you all he has, and I don't really believe that. Uh, look at Garcia, though, rolling with the punches, trying to take the power out of Floyd's shots. Floyd, eight break, KOs break, in his 10 limbs. He has good power, says his best punch is the right hand. He is naturally right-handed, and then there is. He says the uh, key to the fight tonight is the jab. It's both offense and defense, and that, that is experience talking when you hear young kids talking about that because everything else works off the jab you get that jab working then your right hand works your hook works your uppercuts work you, you control the fight you control the tempo picking up shots now now putting some combinations together but just hanging in there, Felipe Garcia just doing enough to, to hang in round by round. Floyd Mayweather didn't uh, really particularly think he'd be still bopping around there for a sixth round, but uh, he has no problems with it, just loves being in the ring. And uh, for the self-proclaimed best fighter in the world, they're very hard to look like the best fight in the world against uh, Felipe Garcia, who has taken uh, many fine prospects the distance. We were saying Felipe Garcia just looking the way he is, just hanging in. He, he could do this if this was scheduled 12, yeah, 15, he or 20 round. That's Garcia. He doesn't care. He, he'll, he'll, go, he'll go the distance. And, and he is, he's like a negative fighter. He, he just makes you look bad. And he can come up with an occasional win, a surprise knockout. But he's just one of those fighters that, that can make you look ordinary and he's doing that with Floyd Mayweather Mayweather having a difficult time look at the, most, the, the shots missing from Mayweather not right on with his with his punches you know we talked about the enthusiasm of the Mayweather for the sport and here is Felipe Garcia 19 years older he's been in the been in the boxing business probably about 60 oh, yeah. more years than Mayweather and he still has that feeling the, you know what he says the is that the spirit for the sport the passion for it and even though he has lost 17 fights, next to his 19 victories, he is uh, still in there and yeah. in his own mind, always thinking he could be the <laughs> world champion. One right? day a world champion. But I tell you, Felipe has been fighting his whole life. He turned pro at 14 years old in uh, 1971 in Mexico. He had about 12 fights before moving to Denver and then uh, started kickboxing. He says, actually, between uh, Denver and Mexico, after turning pro at 14, he had about 30 pro fights before his fights started to be recorded. And now the crowd uh, expecting a little more action after seeing their own Cleveland quarter. A close saw in the just for starters and anticipating knowing what they're going to get from Kenny Keene in the main event. Want a little more here out of the self proclaimed best fighter in the world, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather.
Mayweather says one of the things he loves to do too, he says, I love to, to talk trash. And I said, well, how do you get it? He says, well, you know, my father talked trash, you know, my, my uncle talks tra talk trash, just my mother talks trash. I said, what? He said, is she a fighter too? He says, no. No, when she plays cards, she gets everybody over. If she's playing cards, she talks cards. So, that's where Somebody Floyd tells me from that family, Mama Mayweather can also box. You're right. She can so, handle herself. She can handle those boys. Oh, and Floyd Mayweather handles Felipe Garcia. He finally cracks through. And Felipe having difficulty getting up very rarely in this position. And this fight is stopped. So Floyd Mayweather ends up with the sensational finish. He said, I'll get him out of there. And they told me in the corner, Roger said, I'm going to have him go downstairs to the body with the right hand and then come upstairs to knock out Garcia. And he'll eventually get him. Patience is a great virtue to have as a young fighter. And now we can talk a little more trash. <laughs> that gets to the fun part of the boxing world. And Felipe Garcia, only the second time in 10 years that he has been taken out. And it appeared as if he could go all night, but cracked. And we'll get another look, several of them, on how Floyd Mayweather finally able to break through against Felipe Garcia. Mayweather keeping the pressure on, moving forward. It's this movement from Garcia trying to pull the power out of the punches, but Garcia doesn't pull the power out of these shots. The left hook upstairs, followed by the right hand, punches in combinations. Mayweather asking him what his best punch was. He says, well, both of them. As uh, his confidence rang through, I think Garcia would agree with that. Yep. One more time, the left hook, followed by the right hand, and down on his back, he did not move, Garcia didn't, from that position. That's why they stopped it. All right, let's get the official time as Mayweather makes it 11-0, produces his ninth KO, and all the young U.S. Olympians uh, now still remain undefeated. Let's go up to Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 2 minutes, 56 seconds of the sixth round. Picking up some fans here in Boise. Four seconds from the end of the sixth round. Cranks Felipe Garcia. So for Mayweather, takes out Louis Leha in the second round in his last fight. And now takes out a rocket, Philip Garcia, Felipe in this one. That says a lot about a fighter.